Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. This time I'll be predicting the IGCSE 0607 International Maths papers on the 3rd of October and the 11th of October 2023 bigger and better than last time. I've gone through the last 17 papers to find out what topics are really appearing the most often. And our first topic here is indices. It comes up most years at 71%, so a slight dip here. But you can see these questions can come up even once or even twice on the exam. Usually fairly straightforward questions on the paper two for one or two marks. On to factorizing, again, also an often topic here at 71%, usually far more marks available and usually on the harder side. So you can see you have to use your difference of two squares, the splitting the term idea to really get all the marks on these paper two style questions. Thirds again, it's come back slightly, I think, over the last three or four papers. Again, those typical topics of rationalizing denominators comes from a pretty recent paper, so make sure you're able to do that, as well as simplifying thirds. And if you need any revision on that, check out the video above. On to number skills. Again, I mentioned this topic because it's almost certain, but usually these are the very easy questions at the start of the paper. This can include things like bid mass, prime numbers, cube numbers, to so make sure you're getting those really basic marks in the bag. And on to the most certain topic on paper two, and that is probability. And in fact, it's also very certain to come up on paper four. So if there's one particular topic you should revise more than anything else over the paper two and the paper four, probability is that topic. And you can see it varies from a harder question. So this is question 12 on a paper two. There can also be some of the relative frequency and the easier questions as well. And if you want to see a complete breakdown of all topics on the particular paper, you've got the list there in front of you. And also I include my massive Excel spreadsheet where I've recorded all those different topics over the last 17 papers. Again, you can check that out in the description. On to paper four here. Again, we're going to get different kinds of topics most of the time on paper four. And you get more of this almost certain and certain topics because it is a longer paper. The first one here is volume and surface area or 3D shapes. Here's an example question for you. This question then continues asking you to work out the surface area and then do some similarity work with it as well. So always been a very big topic on paper four and it certainly hasn't changed over the last few papers. Quadratics is always a sneaky topic at 76%. It can appear in lots and lots of different forms. Here's a recent form that has appeared as a question nine. So you can see they've given you a geometric shape, a square in this case, and then you have to do some quadratic work with it. Very typical, they use speed distance time or they'll use uh, two rectangles to try and get those quadratic skills in. Functions, again, at 76%, and when it does turn up, it's usually a huge question. So you need to make sure you're getting all those marks. Again, if you need any revision on that, then check out the video above. Sine cosine rule, again, has always been a classic on paper four. Again, appears usually in the same way, some kind of 2D shape, and then you need to work out some various sides and angles. This question here is definitely not an exception. Transformations, again, that's come up twice, I think, on paper two and once on paper four. So it has been, been spread over the two papers, but still at 76% on paper four. You should still respect that. Usually one of the easier questions on the paper. You can see here, this is question one. So these are easy marks in the bag um, to make sure that you get. Again, typical things here, rotate, enlarge, describing transformations. If you're looking for a summary of what you need to do, this question is a good summary for you. And on to the certain topics with statistics at a whopping 141%. I actually found one paper that had three separate statistics questions on it. So alongside probability, which I'll talk about, statistics is also one you can gain a lot of marks very quickly. You can see here in this case, you just need to work out the angle on the pie chart. Generally, you don't have to draw them that often. Uh, estimate of mean, but using your calculator, that's important on this course. Again, you're only getting two marks for this, so you should be using your graphical display calculator. Probability, I mentioned it's also certain 
on the paper four. Again, this can vary, so it can come after a set Venn diagrams question. It could be a standalone question here, like a tree diagram. It can also appear in other topics with statistics as well. So probability is pretty certain to come up, and if it does, you need to be aware of the different ways it can appear. Percentage calculations, which I haven't talked about too much so far, generally towards the start of the paper, again, working with compound interest, simple interest, reverse percentage change. Again, the percentage of it, how much it's appeared hasn't really changed that much over the last three few years. So this is a guarantee to appear at some point in the paper four. So make sure you've mastered it. And GDC skills, which I've left right until the end here to go through because every year there's a student that doesn't get used to using their graphical display calculator. Generally, either the CG50, which is very, very good, or the TI Inspire TI84. This is a typical question here, question two. You cannot do this algebraically. You need to use your graphical calculator. It's going to save you a ton of time in the exam and could be the marks that get you between that. B to A grade or even A to A star grade. So please make sure you've got lots of practice on this and gone through a lot of questions. Again, I'll put a video up there so you can go through the key skills that you need for this topic. And again, I've given you all the frequencies of the different topics. Notice I've only really focused on the certain topics and almost certain, but speed distance time comes up 52% of the time or 53% of the time. You've got things like regression lines 53% of the time. Coordinate geometry didn't quite make our list here at 71%, but something to definitely think about. And circle theorems, of course, at 53%. So make sure you're going through, once you've done those certain and almost certain topics, that you go through very carefully those often topics as well. And a bonus part of the video here, so you can see I have tracked all the different questions that have appeared on the past papers all the way back to June 2021. So you get a really good spread of exactly how the papers are structured, both for IGCSE 0607 paper two and the paper four as well. Again, if you want a copy of this, you can download it. Again, I'll put that in the description for you as well. And if you've got your exam coming up in the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months, and you really don't know where to start with your revision, then check out the video right in front of you. I spend two hours going through those really critical topics that I've talked about in this video and make sure you're up to speed with all things 0607.